Resdronate is a medication commonly used in the treatment of postmenopausal osteoporosis. While it has proven efficacy in increasing bone density and reducing the risk of fractures, it is essential to understand the potential side effects associated with its use. This video explores the side effects of Risdronate and provides valuable insights into its role in managing postmenopausal osteoporosis. One of the key advantages of Risdronate is its ability to inhibit bone resorption and promote bone formation, thereby improving bone strength. However, like any medication, Risdronate comes with its share of potential side effects. Common side effects include digestive issues such as stomach pain, nausea, and heartburn. Rare but serious side effects may include jawbone problems, unusual thigh bone fractures, and severe allergic reactions. Understanding these potential side effects is crucial for patients considering or currently taking Risdronate. By being aware of the risks, patients can make informed decisions and work closely with their healthcare providers to minimize any adverse effects. So let's delve into the world of Risdronate and gain a comprehensive understanding of its side effects and its use in postmenopausal osteoporosis. What is Risdronate and how does it work? Risdronate is a type of medication known as a bisphosphonate. It works by slowing down the breakdown of bone tissue, thereby increasing bone density and reducing the risk of fractures. Risdronate is specifically designed to target osteoclasts, the cells responsible for bone resorption. When taken orally, Risdronate is absorbed into the bloodstream and eventually reaches the bones. It then binds to the bone surface, where it inhibits the activity of osteoclasts, preventing them from breaking down bone tissue. By doing so, Risdronate helps to maintain or increase bone density, making it an effective treatment for postmenopausal osteoporosis. What is postmenopausal osteoporosis? Postmenopausal osteoporosis is a condition characterized by a decrease in bone density and strength that occurs after menopause. During menopause, the body's estrogen levels decline, leading to an increased rate of bone loss. This loss of bone density can result in fragile bones that are more susceptible to fractures. Postmenopausal osteoporosis is a significant health concern, affecting millions of women worldwide. It can lead to debilitating fractures such as those in the hip, spine, and wrist, which can have a profound impact on a person's quality of life. The importance of treating postmenopausal osteoporosis. Treating postmenopausal osteoporosis is crucial for maintaining bone health and reducing the risk of fractures. Fractures associated with osteoporosis can lead to chronic pain, disability, and a loss of independence. They can also increase the risk of further fractures and have a significant impact on a person's overall well-being. Risdronate and other medications used to treat osteoporosis play a vital role in preventing fractures and preserving bone health. These medications work by slowing down bone loss and promoting bone formation, helping to strengthen the skeletal system and reduce the risk of fractures. However, it is essential to understand that medication alone is not enough to manage osteoporosis effectively. Lifestyle modifications, such as regular exercise, a balanced diet rich in calcium and vitamin D, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, are also essential for maintaining bone health. Common side effects of Risdronate Like any medication, Risdronate can cause side effects in some individuals. Common side effects of Risdronate may include stomach pain, nausea, heartburn, and indigestion. These digestive issues are usually mild and temporary, resolving on their own without the need for medical intervention. It is recommended to take Risdronate with a full glass of water on an empty stomach at least 30 minutes before the first food or drink of the day. This helps to maximize absorption and reduce the risk of digestive side effects. Additionally, it is advisable to remain in an upright position for at least 30 minutes after taking the medication to prevent it from causing irritation in the esophagus. If the common side effects persist or become bothersome, it is important to consult a healthcare provider. They may be able to provide guidance or adjust the dosage to minimize these effects. Serious Side Effects of Risdronate While rare, there are some serious side effects associated with the use of Risdronate. These side effects require immediate medical attention. Examples of serious side effects include jawbone problems, unusual thigh bone fractures, and severe allergic reactions. Jawbone problems, known as osteonecrosis of the jaw, are rare but can occur in individuals taking Risdronate. Symptoms may include jaw pain, swelling, or infection. If any of these symptoms occur, it is important to seek prompt medical attention. Unusual fractures of the thigh bone, known as atypical femoral fractures, have also been reported in rare cases with long-term use of Risdronate. These fractures may occur without any significant trauma, 
and can cause pain or discomfort in the thigh or groin area. Any persistent thigh or groin pain should be evaluated by a healthcare provider to rule out the possibility of an atypical femoral fracture. Finally, severe allergic reactions to Rhizdronate are rare but can occur. Signs of a severe allergic reaction may include rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. If any of these symptoms occur, immediate medical attention should be sought. Who should not take Rhizdronate? While Rhizdronate is generally safe and effective for most individuals with postmenopausal osteoporosis, there are some contraindications and precautions to consider. Rhizdronate should not be taken by individuals who have certain conditions, such as low calcium levels, problems swallowing, or severe kidney disease. Additionally, individuals who are unable to stand or sit upright for at least 30 minutes after taking the medication should not take Rhizdronate. It is important to inform the healthcare provider about any underlying medical conditions, allergies, or medications being taken before starting Rhizdronate. This information will help the healthcare provider determine if Rhizdronate is a suitable treatment option and if any adjustments need to be made. How to take Rhizdronate effectively? To ensure the effectiveness of Rhizdronate, it is important to take the medication correctly. Rhizdronate is typically taken once a week, usually on the same day each week. It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and schedule provided by the healthcare provider. Rhizdronate should be taken with a full glass of water on an empty stomach at least 30 minutes before the first food or drink of the day. It is important not to chew, crush, or suck on the tablet, as this can decrease its effectiveness. Additionally, it is advisable to remain in an upright position for at least 30 minutes after taking the medication to prevent it from causing irritation in the esophagus. If a dose of Rhizdronate is missed, it should be taken the next morning after remembering, unless the next scheduled dose is less than seven days away. In that case, the missed dose should be skipped and the regular schedule should be resumed. Tips for managing side effects of Rhizdronate. While many individuals tolerate Rhizdronate well, some may experience side effects. Here are some tips for managing the common side effects of Rhizdronate. Stomach pain, nausea, and heartburn. Taking Rhizdronate with a full glass of water and remaining upright for at least 30 minutes afterward can help reduce the risk of digestive side effects. If these symptoms persist, it may be helpful to take an antacid or speak to a healthcare provider for further guidance. Difficulty swallowing. If swallowing becomes challenging while taking Rhizdronate, it is important to consult a healthcare provider. They may be able to suggest alternative formulations or treatments that are easier to swallow. Other digestive issues. If other digestive issues, such as diarrhea or constipation occur, it is important to stay hydrated and consume a balanced diet. If these symptoms persist or worsen, medical advice should be sought. Alternative treatments for postmenopausal osteoporosis. While Rhizodronate is a commonly prescribed medication for postmenopausal osteoporosis, there are alternative treatments available. These may include other bisphosphonates, such as alendronate or ebandronate, or medications from different drug classes, such as denosumab or teriparatide. The choice of treatment depends on individual factors, such as medical history, response to previous treatments and preferences. It is important to discuss the available options with a healthcare provider to determine the most suitable treatment approach. Additionally, lifestyle modifications play a significant role in managing postmenopausal osteoporosis. Regular weight-bearing exercises such as walking or strength training can help improve bone density and reduce the risk of fractures. A diet rich in calcium and vitamin D is also essential for maintaining bone health. Conclusion Rhizdronate is an effective medication for the treatment of postmenopausal osteoporosis. While it can significantly increase bone density and reduce the risk of fractures, it is crucial to understand the potential side effects associated with its use. Common side effects of Rhizdronate include stomach pain, nausea, and heartburn. While rare but serious side effects may include jawbone problems, unusual thigh bone fractures, and severe allergic reactions. By being aware of these potential side effects and understanding how to take a Rhizdronate effectively, individuals can make informed decisions and work closely with their healthcare providers to maximize the benefits of this medication while minimizing any adverse effects. Additionally, it is important to consider lifestyle modifications and discuss alternative treatment options with a healthcare provider to ensure comprehensive management of postmenopausal osteoporosis. Thanks for watching.